Hello, everyone. I'm Renal Zero. We are back yet again talking about Ripper versus Detractors and the Haters who essentially want to come at my neck, trying to explain to me that there is a decline in the Ripper verse, even though they're comparing ISOP 1 sales to Alpha Core number 1 sales, which you really can't compare the two. They are two separate IPs of characters. Same thing you cannot do with Batman versus Superman versus Wonder Woman for the DC side. You cannot do the same thing for Spider Man versus Venom versus Carnage. They are all different characters. They all have different audiences, which is something they aren't consistent with when it comes to Marvel and DC, but they seem to be doing this weird thing with the Ripperverse just because it's somebody they dislike or it's a universe that they dislike. So, as usual, they don't do any basic research claiming that the sales are cratering even though there are plenty of sales cratering when it comes to the comic industry overall and i think at one point they compare spawn to isom saying that spawn is selling well even though i'm going to prove that it's really not especially with something like king spawn absolutely cratering we're going to get into all of this and debunk a bunch of stuff that the haters are saying first starting off with the riververse store you can get your merchandise like your shirts you got new they got the new braxwell shirt Got the ISOM 2, Alpha Core, merch, and comics, so get in where you fit in. Starting right here with Mr. Broke Black Angus Mountain Reviews himself, basically telling you outright that he's a brokey, saying, I'm seriously loving the steady decline of the Ripperverse with the Joker laughing, right? So, which I say, what decline is that? Do you have proof of said decline? Considering every single book has made more money than every indie campaign and will put out more books than any other indie creator, it's far from declining. You must have it confused with that certain creator who makes books about cucked frogs. Hashtag cybercuck as coined by Student of God. Moving over to here, this is what this person essentially got from what I said. You heard it here, folks. This person is into this. He would enjoy cyberfrog if there were some Heather Swain cyberfrog romance. Now, where in this statement did I mention anything about that outside of Cyberfrog being a cuck? Absolutely nowhere. This is something you clearly made up in your head because you were a weirdo and you dedicated your entire account to hating one person like a loser. I said, hashtag, who is this person? Secondly, where in my statement do I mention anything about this? Now you are out here trying to put words in people's mouths, and we are not about to do that. You sound like the type of person who has never been in conflict before. The first thing you think about is that you need to seek help for whatever messed up trauma you've been through. You're disgusting. You're disgusting for even bringing up such gross things like that. We also have Broke Black Angus saying, Yes, we totally don't care about indies. This clown hosted a closeout for a campaign in part because I offered his channel to Godfo as a potential stream venue after I've hosted him. Don't know who this is. I've only seen you shill for Eric and Blade Devil. And I said, shilling would require me to be given payment to say stuff is good when I believe it's bad. Well, since you don't pay attention to me much, I've shown interest in Infinitale, Death, 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 Black Rhapsody, Blade Devil, Ripper vs. Comics, Super Plumber Sisters, which is pretty much anything from Tyler, Case of the Lilith Umbrella, Starlight Cats, and Glorious Rex, She, and Common America. I've backed more indie projects than any of you crack smokers on this app, and none of you weirdos ever show receipts that you backed anything. You just talk a bunch of noise, you talk a big game like you're all about that indie comic space, yet none of you have ever shown receipts that you've actually backed anything. And while we're at it, here it is, Blade Double 2, Chains of Blood. Three different covers, cover A, cover C, and cover B, and cover D, actually. Summer Limited Wraparound cover, as usual. Here are some pages and artwork from the story. You will get 69 pages of story and two supplemental stories. We'll show you the full blown-up covers right here. Cover A, cover B, cover C, and for me, cover D. I've got all four covers. I'm going to get all the cards. I've even backed it, you know, signed up for the pre-launch, so I'm going to get the extra card. But if you want to get in on Blade Devil 1, you can always come to this campaign. All the links for these will be in the description below. For Blade Devil 1, for just 10 bucks, either covers A, B, or C. There you go. This was the most recent campaign that I backed. You can see it says right here, I'm a backer. And I got this book, Relentlessly Bullied Heroes, currently at 598. With a pledge of 1,000 and 11 days to go, 20 backers. More of that manga style, because that's what I'm into mostly. I've also got Black Rhapsody Part 1. Again, more manga style type of artwork, type of story. And there you go. Which I also have this post, like I said. 
No one ever shows receipts for the stuff that they back. These are all the indie comics, including Berserker. I've got all three volumes. You can see even Cyberfrog there. This was back before I've, I started hating Ethan Man Skyver. Multiple books that I've gotten that are all indie. So no one can tell me that they backed more books than me, like I've said before. This person, the Woke Ripperverse is dying, and Eric blocking even more fans. Eric only blocks people who want to act act stupid. He doesn't block actual fans. I've never seen him block an actual fan with real criticism. Not BS criticism. Not bad faith criticism. To which I say, you are not a serious person. Especially when you commented twice on the same post with both of your accounts. By the way, I don't know if you know, but Peter Parker is Spider-Man and Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Your main account says you like Spider-Man. You must be referring to Peter Parker then. Shocking. So he says, you know, broke Black Angus 3.7 down to 2.3 down to 1.3 down to Horseman not even campaigning because it comes out in the summer, you idiot. And again, this is the ISOM 1 number. This is the Alpha Core number. You can't compare the two. Number two sell less than number ones. Alpha Core is a new IP and has still outsold every other indie book. The books continue to sell after the campaigns end. And considering yourself owned yourself and bought ISOM 1 and 2 during the Alpha Core campaign, you contributed to the increase in the sales numbers. Cope and see the moron. Which he says he bought ISOM 1 and 2 off eBay, but then he bought Alpha Core during the campaign. So you're still contributing to the supposed decline of the Ripperverse. Bub, you're wasting your breath on this. You're not going to convince them of anything different. To which I say, you're not going to convince me of something that isn't true, you crack smoker. The fact of the matter is, the Ripperverse is the best selling indie comic universe, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Cyberfrog 2 made 1.2 million, and Cyberfrog 3 is at 589k, with 7,428 less backers. For the Cyberfrog 2 campaign, based on what I can see, it only sold a little over 6.5k books, not counting add ons. Alpha Core number one sold almost four times as many books during its campaign run. Cope and see them to your blue in the face. This person, every book has made less than the one before. That's called a decline. No, no, it is. Alpha Core is not ISOM. 2023 was more profitable than 2022, and the books continue to sell after the campaign's end. Why are all you literal NPCs repeating the same debunked talking points? It's like you get your, all your information from the same people, and you just... Circle back and regurgitate the same crap all day long. Do you mean indie book or self-published? Do you mean outsold as in copies or gross revenue? What is your metric for success? Making more profit in 2023 over 2022. AlphaCore and ISOM have outsold in revenue and copies sold. The fact that basic information is lost on haters like you are mind-blowing. The controversy regarding the Sasuke sisters... The questionable things will only increase sales and generate curiosity. I, horror movies equals corn now. This is not a serious person. Also, stop using words when you don't know the definition of them. This person, all part of the Rip Reverse, right? Okay, and Rip Reverse made more profit in 2023 versus 2022. Is Marvel in decline because Spider-Man sells more than Miles Morales? No, Marvel is in decline due to the quality of the comic books and the MCU movies. You're very low IQ. Stop talking about things you know nothing about, which this person doesn't know anything about. They're just here observing. Meanwhile, they don't support anything. You know his profit margins? Uh... My point is, quote-unquote, indie books, including Image, Boom, IW, etc., and he's definitely not outselling some of those books and copies sold. Yes, he is. The high price point is great for a big overall gross, but these books needed to sell 80k plus copies to compete. So, which I said, yes, he is. I saw him, number one, outsold every new graphic novel in the past five years that have been recorded. The information is easy to find. You're just too stupid to find it. It's easy to see profit margins. It's transparent. I saw him, number one, only needed between... Only needed 250k. I wrote before in between 100 to 250k, but 250k before profits start rolling in. 3.7 million is revenue. He has put out the profit out there. The fact that he can fund his warehouse for 10 years should tell you. So I pulled up Comicron, right? I pulled up Comicron. So we're gonna do this live here. I pulled up Comicron. So this is the best-selling graphic novel. Two comic shops of 2017, 47,775. Now, remember, this is two comic shops. This isn't two customers. ISOM sold 62,670 books direct to customers. This is two comic shops. This isn't how many were sold to customers. 
So we don't really know how many books were sold directly to customers. It could be half, it could be a quarter, it could be one fourth, I'm oh, sorry, one third of this number. So yes, in 2017 sold more than their highest sold book to comic shops, graphic novels. Let's go to 2018, two comic shops. Remember, 2018, two comic shops. 40,000, that's less than 62. Let's go to 2019. Again, two comic shops. So nobody gets the misconception that I'm not showing all the information. 20,000, your beloved Watchmen book. 20,000, two shops, not to customers, two shops. Let's go to 2020. 7,700, Harleen HC. Here's Watchmen down at 5,678. This is, again, 2020 graphic novel sales to comic shops, not direct to customers. 2021, here's all the numbers of new comic book releases. New comic book releases. Total printed products, still less than 62,000. Even 2022, only 21,733. Two comic shops, not to customers. Moving on. Oh goodness, we're back on the graphic novel thing again. Is it a comic or a graphic novel? Graphic novels are comics. What do you think The Walking Dead is? The Walking Dead's a graphic novel, but it's still considered a comic book. Is it both? Is it outselling Spawn? Yes. Come on, get real. No one in the real world even knows what ISOM is. And yet, people do know who, do know who ISOM is. Spawn is not selling well and is considered a floppy, not a graphic novel. You are one of the most retarded haters I've ever interacted with. Megacon doesn't lie. Lines all at all times of the day, homie. Continue coping and seething because Eric is successful. Now, Harris Spawn, 25th anniversary, issue number one, only 30,353 units, two comic shops. That's less than ISOM 1. That's even less books sold than ISOM 2. So... Here's King Spawn at number one, right? This is 480,000 two comic shops. That's two comic shops. Not two consumers, two comic shops. It had an 84% drop to issue number two, and it cost half the price. It cost half the price of the first one and had 75,719 two, two comic shops, not customers. So, yes, even by your dumb logic, which we'll get to in a second after I get to this fool. So, this guy puts up the amount it made, I someone made. This is the amount of purchasers, not the amount of books. This is the amount of money it made, amount of purchasers, amount of money it made, amount of purchasers. So, I said, first off, I just realized you're a bot account. Secondly, you put in the purchaser numbers, not the amount of books sold. Holy crap, you're retarded. Please. Shut the fuck up when you don't know what you're talking about. Also, your solo IQ, your numbers are wrong. It's 42,926 because he put 42,296. So he got the number wrong. At 62,670 books sold. ISOM number two had 20,337 purchasers at 32,540 books sold. Alpha Core number one had 13,252 purchasers, which again, is a separate IP from ISOM at 22,331 books sold. These are all direct to customer, by the way, not to shops. And then people may buy them. They are directly to customers. King Spawn number one went from 480K, sold to comic shops, to King Spawn number two, selling 75,719 to comic shops. That's an 84% drop from book one to book two for King Spawn. ISOM number one to ISOM number two only had a 48% drop and made more revenue and profit than King Spawn. So please, if you're going to come at me with these numbers, come at me correct and bring the correct information. This one. Why would the Ripper's new section lie on Yaira's name included in a 2023 release slate? Still no release date, Brainlet. This says nothing about Yaira coming in 2023. It says Yaira writers have been brought on. Reading comprehension is not your strong suit. It says three books, three books were past tense, promised as part of the 2023 release slate, which it was ISOM 2. And Alpha Core 1. Simple. 
I bought, here it is. I bought one and two on eBay thanks to interest created by Buster Baxter, but I backed Alpha Core day one because this horrible universe is just too damn funny. Again, your opinion, you're allowed to have it. That's fine. I guess I'd call it a cell phone as Eric screwed me and every other day one backer by adding more to the purchase at the initial launch. I said the price is the price. People chose to back at day one. It's okay to admit you're a brokey. Some people got in later, and that's okay too. You were never interested in the product, and you buying AlphaCore directly from the source is indeed a self-own by giving money to a person you dislike. I don't make the rules. I also said to this person, over 100k books sold prior to AlphaCore. AlphaCore is a new IP. People are still buying the books after the campaigns end. Why are you idiots so dense on this app? You have no investment outside of hating on Eric's success. All I'm reading is you coping and see that on top of that, you're a soiny pony. You're simping for a plastic box. And you have and you having rip Xbox 22 of February 15th is so dumb that you don't realize that even if Xbox went third party, you're still buying their games. You have zero consistency, which I did find out. He just made this account this month just so he could say rip Xbox on February 2015. So yeah, again, showing this. It's already late. Originally, it was supposed to be out winter time. We're still in winter. The comic was completed in November last year. They're already drawing the Iron number two. Well, they decided to release Alpha Core number one first. Again, thinking is not these people's strong suit. It's still winter and no release date was given. So not late. Again, haters are low IQ and have no life outside of hating on another man's success. It makes for easy content, though. And he says, cope. And I say, define cope. I have ISOM number two and Alpha Core number one in my hand. The only person coping is you in this situation. And yours is dedicated to doing this. There can't be one without the other. I'm sorry you want to protect your gay fantasies onto me, but I don't swing that way. You can come out of the closet, though, and no one, including me, will care. Defending someone is doing this spicy thing to someone. Good argument. Not. Interesting how you can smear someone, but if I defend said person, it's a spicy thing. What is with you, gay boys? What is with you guys in your homo homoerotic fantasies of me? It's really weird and it's very disturbing. They all live in a kind of alternative fantasy, a reality. It's fascinating to watch. Eric is always right and could do no wrong, even when he's selling a book of clip art at a premium. Well, you are the same type of people who thought that he was going to quote unquote air out Riley. At the warehouse, which he never claimed that was gonna, he was gonna do that. He was simply stating Texas law, which you all listen to a lawyer from Minnesota who doesn't know anything about Texas law. He's not a lawyer that practices in Texas. He's a lawyer that supposedly practices in Minnesota. And you thought the quote-unquote night letter to a certain creator was a threat, even though it wasn't. You live in an alternate universe who believes in traced assets and clip art law. You're such a loser as insane to me that you're so low IQ. Your obsession on hating someone else has consumed your life. The gut Yeah, so I said horror movies equals corn now. This is not a serious person. Also, stop using words when you don't know the definition of them. And that was to this. This, this post right here. That's apparently not available anymore. Congrats to you, homie, and showing people acting. Something that has apparently just started being a thing when the Sasuke sisters made horror films. The mental gymnastics you weirdos play to justify your hate for someone you've never met is cringe. There is no mental gymnastics. They are really sisters, and they're really doing this. It's not acting at that point. It's in a movie. It's acting. Your regurgitated talking points are mental gymnastics, and they are boring me to death. You can go scream into the void now, as in, I muted the person. Yes, or Eric is an awful person to create. While the Ripperverse is declining, it won't be my fault. There is no decline, but it's interesting that you think that while ignoring the Cyberfrog 2 to Cyberfrog 3 numbers drop. It entertains me to see how you accuse Anna of grifting off of her deleted sister and how much Eric has broken you mentally. It's to the point where you hang around actual grifters who don't actually care about indie comics that just want to see a man's business burn to the ground. Very interesting how that works. This is making Ripper Tarts break. It's a tweet. It's a tweet of a meme about Eric's wife, which I did show in yesterday's video. Spurg with money. I made money off of your stupidity, so does that. Keep it going. I'm sure that'll help your cause. Even J Bama fan told you that you're a dummy. Even J Bama fan said that it's not right that you go after people's family that have nothing to do with whatever weird obsession you have. I couldn't care less when it comes out, then shut up. Or if it ever comes out, then shut up. 
I just occasionally enjoy getting his calls all riled up. I'm like, you're not riling me up. I'm farming you for easy content. This isn't the first time I farmed you for content. I'm sure it won't be the last time. And then he says, perfectly said, half or more of the revenue is shirts, hats, posters, and shipping. Shipping is part of operating costs. The most recent campaign averaged 1.7 copies of Alpha Corp per purchase. was crazy high. Just pay pigs buying YouTube merch. Transformers number one just sold 153 units on its first printing. Now, again, is this to your comic shops or direct to customer? Because I don't think 153K units sold direct to customers. Basic math is hard for you, I get it, but considering shipping is a part of operating costs, 62.67k, which is the amount of books that were sold on ISOM 1, times $35 for each book, equals $2,193,450. ISOM made $3.73 million, so half would be $1.865 million, and only $1.536 million were spent on merch. So both of you dumbasses are wrong. This is only counting the campaign sales. Read a book. Do some research before putting out misinformation. You're purposely putting out garbage information when you do zero research. So I'll do it for you and show people how dumb you really are. Exactly. One would need to compare ISOM 1 sales to the sales of King Spawn number 1 through 6 to make it apples to apples. And King Spawn number 1 sold this 497k units to almost 3 million by itself. Again, I showed you that it only sold, what, 400 and 480,000 to comic shops, not to customers, and had a an 84% drop to issue number two, and it was half the price of the first book. Oh, it's almost as if when you get printing deals, the price drops. Hmm, must be why ISOM 1 is now $20. Interesting how that works. No, it didn't. LMAO, you're so effing retarded. No, it didn't. It sold 480,650 to comic shops, not direct to customers. And then had a major 84% drop off from book one to book two to comic shops, not to the customers. So once again, throwing stuff at the wall, expecting the stick, thinking nobody would do the research. And I did. I did the research and showed how wrong you are this person super killer can't be late it doesn't have a set release date yet it had a set shipping month payment was collected and got delayed twice it's late don't shift the goalposts now to which they were oh, this person plus when i went to college it wasn't just book stuff i'm not that young clearly but hey evs fan thanks for jumping to defend someone who can't stop writing pp yeah, homoeroticism is all you have. You went to college, yet all you have is dick on your brain. It's a female, I guess. No one cares if you're gay and I want and want to come out. No one cares if you're gay and want to come out of the closet, which I didn't really check to see if it was a male or female. I just responded. So, yes, we thought, yeah, I think I, I showed this already. Waiting on the artist, you know, an actual artist, not people who trace 3D assets. So you first said it wasn't late, and then and then said it was late. Good job. So it's late. Also, Cliff doesn't trace you. EBS has actually traced and is on video saying so. Stop coping. I was promised a Yara winter. Spring starts in one month. I call that late. Don't chip the goalposts now. It's still winter. You know you're not buying the book, so stop the cap. You are a brokey. Stop. We'll have to see if it gets out this winter. I wouldn't be so quick to insult if I were you. You could basically call me a brokey like you did. Then I could say that you would have been on the Ripperverse panel at MegaCon if anyone there considered you a YouTuber, but you're not. This is this was one of the most stupidest things I've ever read from this person. I said, that's not really the insult you think it is. It's not my panel. I'm not part of the Ripperverse, Geeks and Gamers, or the Neurotic team. You sound misinformed. Learn what you are talking about before you speak to me about that. I 100% agree with you. I'm just giving him a little extra time because he's not going to ship Yara by March 18th. Anyways, nothing says late like, quote, we gave you even more time on a technicality and you still missed it. He never said ship. He said launch. This is not a serious person. 
this was the point where I was just like, this guy is not a serious person. So, it's so massive that initial sales went from 3.7 to 1.3. And I, 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 and then this was also the point with this person where I was like, I'm done. Until one of you mother effers could post a picture with more purchased indie comics than me, I don't give a fuck and neither does anyone else. Last one. Hashtag Yara is late. Yara can't be late when there's no release date and no money has been collected. Hashtag when is super killer. Hashtag super killer is late. This is the person that said that, that it's late. He openly admits it's late. Shout out to Bruce, by the way. That's not even debatable. This showing the December 2023 estimated shipping. Him showing a December update saying that it's going to be delayed. So. Cope. He goes, yeah, we know it's late. I'm just using Renown Zero. It's not late without a date thing on it because it's fun. It doesn't apply to a project that doesn't have a release date or a true release window. What a cell phone. Read a book. Oh, wait, Super Killer isn't out yet. I'm sure it's the only book you can't. You, you have enough brain cells to read. I don't plan on reading Super Killer. So then shut up. Why do you care then? You're so brain dead. It's not even funny. You're not a serious person. It's true. Hopefully, Renown Zero just laughs at you accordingly. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Again, shout out to Bruce. At the end of the day, these people are not serious. They say the most idiotic things with no research whatsoever. They want you to think that Ripper vs. Dying, even though the people that are actually fans of this stuff know it's not dying. They know it's gaining fans every day. They know people are still buying the books every single day. We see the posts. I see the posts. And I show it to the people who are not on Twitter with this absolute brain rot of people on this app that just like to throw stuff at the wall and hope it somehow hurts the business. Even though the more complaining you guys do, the more books are going to sell. So keep it up. We'll see how far Yara number one gets after all this nonsense is over. And then we'll see where the goalpost is going to shift yet again as you guys claimed it. It will only hit a million and Gooding will hit 500k. I doubt a book written by Mike Barron, the guy who wrote The Punisher, will sell, will, will make only 500k. Because you dumbasses are the ones that don't realize that Eric makes books based on the characters that are requested the most. That's why AlphaCore has a book. That's why Yara has a book. That's why Gooding has a book. And he hired professional writers to write all of them. Because even he would say that he is not qualified enough to write those types of stories. So he picked people who are best suited for the job, not based on gender, not based on sexuality, Based on their ability to write a story with those types of characters. Which is why he has Chuck Dixon writing Alpha Core. And Sasuke Sisters writing Yaira. And Mike Barron writing Gooding. But that's all I've got to say for tonight. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit the like button. Comment below what you feel about all of this. Subscribe for more content. And hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.